is a Bramble Jam podcast. <sighs> Hi. <laughs> I'm Brad. I had it muted the entire thing. Yeah, you did. It had the little noises. <laughs> I love Hallmark Valentine movies. Hey, I'm Panda, and I like Hallmark Valentine movies. I'm Dan, and I despise Hallmark Valentine movies, and this This is is the Deck the the Hallmark Hallmark Podcast. Isn't right. it good? It feels right. Warm and toasty in the new studio. No studio. Some of you guys are doing the math and you're like, have you been in three different studios in three different weeks? Wrong. Yes. Oh, in three weeks. Good yeah. gosh, man. <laughs> There's been four Listen studios. before you talk. You know what? I feel fresh and squirrely. And if I want to speak before listening, then that's then my prerogative. There's All been right. more than four studios, Panda. My house. Oh, five studios. TR, Pronk. Pronk, your oh, house. Six. Yeah. Yeah. Two office centers, uh, the other place in this one. We have recorded in more spaces than I think any other program ever in the history of ever. We also recorded in a Dodge Caravan in Kansas City before. So, (laughs) Well, if you're counting that, then yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, guys, welcome to another week, another time for us to come together as a family, as a crew, as a team to talk about another Hallmark Valentine movie. This week, it's the secret ingredient. My secret ingredient is that I love these boys. Wow. Mm, That's really nice. Um, Yesterday was President's Day, and you guys aren't going to believe this, but I got a letter in the mail this week. And you guys are going to think that I'm making this up, but this is beautiful. I got a letter, and it was signed by both President Trump and President Obama. Wow. They came together to wonder... How was your weekend? <laughs> they wrote a letter. I kept thinking going, it's not the hot take segment yet. What is he doing? It's a how was your weekend It bit. was a how was your weekend bit. You know what I did this weekend? What's I told that? people that if they've not joined the Patreon yet, they should do it. Patreon.com slash tech the hallmark. I mean, for as little as $10 a month, you get bonus content. We just went out watched the Italian job. Italian job. And we're going to do an episode on the Italian job. Why? Because that's what the Facebook community wanted. Apparently, we're doing the old heist movies. We are. It's, a, it's, a, yeah. it's, it's heist month. Heist we month. We got the Italian job, and then we got the, the great, great Muppet, Muppet, Muppet caper. caper. Yeah. Which I've never seen before. Yeah. So I'm very excited gonna about that. It's going to be fun. Um, did, did Panda, did you do anything especially exciting this weekend? No, I was with Dan. I was talking about yeah, Patreon. Yeah, we talked Patreon the whole weekend. You talked Patreon the, the whole, whole weekend. weekend. We did. Wow, that's incredible. It was, you know, it was, it was just blood. a 90 second <laughs> video. We could have done it on a loop, but we did it live every time. Yeah. <laughs> it was really weird. Um, guys, really quick before we dive into the episode, I do want to know, you were talking a lot about Patreon. Apparently you guys talked about it all weekend, if I understand yeah, correctly. Yes, all weekend. Yeah, How yeah. could somebody join said Patreon? I, I told I yeah, said patreon.com slash deck the home. Yeah, but what, what if someone like myself wasn't listening? <laughs> then you would still go to patreon.com. Are we even going to air this episode because it's getting off to a great start? No, I think we are. I think okay. we, I, I, I think this is one of those episodes where as it gets going, it's going to really. I did that whole letter bit about getting into the weekend. That was funny. I don't have high hopes. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, early early reviews of this episode are starting to come Ooh, in. Yes. Thumbs down. Posi- no, positive. Really? They said wow. they're getting their footing, but we could tell it might be their best yet. Wow. Speaking <laughs> of uh, reviews, you could still go to the iTunes, the Apple Podcast, yeah. and leave a, a little, review. A little thirsty for a review over here. A we- little. little- Ooh, my mouth, my yeah. mouth is parched. We could we could use a review or two. That's true. That's true. Um, and I think I think that's it, dude. I'm ready to talk about some secret ingredients. Are you ready to talk about the secret ingredients? Yeah. Because it's it's time to do that. The secret ingredient originally aired on February fifteenth, twenty twenty, and I went a little something like this. Kelly owns a bakery. And uh, loves her cute doggies, which we only see once and never again. I really thought the doggy was going to be a bigger part. Uh, she finds out that her ex fiance Andrew, is coming back into town. And she tries to act like she doesn't care. But we all know that she does. So Andrew is riding into town, gets a call from the chef, asking him to come and help. Because uh, this other famous chef is coming to review his restaurant, Andrew's the best pastry chef in town. And so he's like, hey, come and make some pastries for me. Uh, they end up hanging out. Uh, her, her and Andrew end up hanging out after uh, a party that was thrown for him because he was back in town and gives her a ride 
home. And so Kelly then finds out that she's been picked to be on her favorite cooking show, the Four Square Cooking Challenge, Valentine's Edition. Um, Andrew stops by the bakery as Kelly is doing some baking and he helps her with some baking and they bake together and he apologizes about how things ended. It's an awkward conversation, but it's a necessary one. Um, she makes it to set for the show and it is a, uh, a it's like a secret cooking show. You cook in these like special secret uh, so square. There's four squares. You can't tell who the other people you can't are. Hear you can't hear them. It's very thought out. And so she's walking around. She she gets to set. She does the first round. She crushes it. She has some time in between the next round. And so she's walking around New York. And guess who she sees? Andrew. And Andrew's like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm in town. I'm helping my, my chef buddy. Um, they end up getting lunch together. She goes back to the studio. They judge the first cake. The chefs love it. She's on to the next round. It's time to send someone home. Not Kelly, some random guy no one cares about. Guess who else is sticking around? That's right, Andrew. He's also on the show. They're both on the show. They don't know it, but they're both going on to round two. They hang out again in New York. They get a New York hot dog. They're digging each other again. They're having a good time. Time for the next round, and um, uh, they they make some yummy-looking cakes. Uh, They both make it to the finals. Who's ready? Who's excited? They have to make a cake that is 24 inches tall at least. And it has to be like a like a hey uh, proposal type thing. I think like it's a max of twenty four inches. Yeah, a mat. Oh, it was a mat. I thought I it was a, a min. You can't go bigger. I thought it was a min. Maybe it was a min. I think it's a min. All right, go, ahead, go ahead. guys. Send us the emails. You, I, we know you yeah, will. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's a, supposed to be a proposal theme. So uh, like, uh, hey, marry me, but in cake form. So she makes her go to cake. But guess what? Uh, He does. He makes her go to cake because he's thinking about her when he's making this cake because he wants to propose to her. Duh. The judges are judging the cakes. And they're like, I I don't know. I don't know. This was really hard (laughs) because the same cakes. (laughs) And so they uh, they they're they're talking about that and get and they they reveal who each other are. Here's who you've been competing about. And Andrew's like, "What? It's Kelly." And Kelly's like, "What? It's Andrew." So the judges can't figure it out. The judges don't know what to pick. And so the host of the show gets the deciding vote. And so backstage they argue about why they broke up and they argued about why he never came back to town and they argue and they argue. The host announces that Kelly won. Hey, that was good, boys. Um, and uh, he goes back to find her after the show uh, and tells her that he still loves her, but she's like, "No, you're basic. I can't. I can't handle it." Uh, and so she goes home. Everybody gets together to watch the show, uh, and she uh, and, and she finds out that her mom sold the family restaurants. Andrew then finds her and tells Kelly that he's moving back to town because he wants to be with her. And also, hey, I bought your parents' restaurant. We can run it together. They kiss as the fire roars. They make it back in time to see the town erupt with applause when they find out that Kelly wins because nobody cares about Andrew. Flash forward one year, and it's time for him to ask her, hey, will you marry me? She says yes. Everybody loves it. And that, my friends, was... The Secret Ingredients. Yes. 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 Valentine. Valentine. Hey, guys. How was your Valentine's Day? Let me tell you. It was it was romantic. Yes. Really? Mm-hmm. Really? What'd you yeah, do? it was. Uh, ate, ate at home uh, and uh, spent the night uh, watching a little bit of TV and eating some goldfish crackers mm, with my love. That is romantic. Yeah. I love yeah, that. Dan, did you? Yeah, have dinner? Pan and I were eating goldfish crackers. <laughs> <laughs> Ate a little dinner. I love that. It was nice. It was nice. Well, same time next year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. It's a date. Same time next Valentine. That's right. Um, guys, I can't wait to talk about this one. Um, 
and I, here's here's kind of what I've been thinking about. Uh-huh. Uh, this morning I was doing my morning journaling, just kind of thinking about uh, how I can better my life, do, do some improvements. One of the things that I'm planning on doing is maybe running a lap or two each day. Yeah, a uh, lap around what? Yeah, uh, just whatever I could find. Maybe <laughs> spending spending less time on my phone, more time with family, and yeah. also starting off each show with the hot take. And yeah. so yeah. that is kind of all the things that I'm trying to do to better my life. And so I, I would love for you guys to kind of join me in starting this, especially this show show off with the hot takes. Okay. Segment. I think yeah. we can do that. Are you excited about this? Because this is no, where I really we, like this that is where idea. we share yeah. how we felt about this movie. No sir no terms are uncertain. <laughs> no bars Except on that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Panda, what do you think, buddy? I, I'm actually journaling now and my goal is not to lead the hot takes anymore. Wow. wow. Well, too bad. It's kind of... Yeah, it's okay, the thing you have to do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't say it was going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scratch yeah. the <laughs> old monk journal. <laughs> Better time next year. Uh, <laughs> Better time. Better time next year? I tried. Uh, guys, I, I here's, here's the deal with this movie. <clears throat> it has everything on the surface that I would like in a movie. It has like? a... I uh, like you a love life. a good cooking. Movie. I love a good cooking movie. Yeah. I love uh, the game show premises, even though they're oftentimes ridiculous. What's a premise? The the plural premise. 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 Premises. 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 Yeah, it's just premises. Premises. That's, Boy, that doesn't sound try right. a little bit. Uh, and. I think that this movie had all the the things to make it fun. However, it didn't feel like a lot of fun. And I think part of the reason it didn't feel like a lot of fun was the game show was pretty stupid. Uh, The the show within the show doesn't make a lot of sense. Isn't it It, great when you get to watch bad TV about bad bad TV? TV. It was just, it's a real treat. Um, I don't know. I like Erin Cahill. Like almost in everything she's been in, I've always thought that, it's really fun. She has like a quirky character in it for the most part. I just don't know if the leads had a lot of chemistry together in this. It felt a little forced. It felt like she was holding back from what she normally does. Um, and overall, it was just, it, it was just fine for me. It wasn't even, it was like, uh, like if it was on a scale of one to 10, I would give it a four. A four. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah low that's side what, of average. Yeah. Low side of average. And, and I think that's where I would end. That said, macaroons look delicious. In this and by movie. macaroons, you mean macaron. Macaron. Um, here's where I stand with this movie because I, I have, I, it's a tricky one because I, I, I do appreciate because we, we give the reality shows that they do a hard uh, time, a hard time. And this was, I think the most thought out, Yeah, the most mm-hmm. accurate, <clears throat> like they were taking, like, that's probably how it would work. You would take a break and you would come back and you would do, it, it seemed pretty accurate for yeah, what they reality thought it shows out. are. The, the difficulty is, as Panda said, the show itself, unless they, they tried to cover it up by, by whenever they announced who one of the people was, they knew who it was, even though yeah, celebrities. It, it was yeah. a it was a, a a baker from a hotel in Arizona or something like that. And so, it, the show makes sense if it's celebrities or if it's well known people that you, it's a big surprise, like yeah. the Masked Singer. You're trying to figure out who it is, but it's right. still, but 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 because it's just chefs from small towns or that are working at hotels, that part of it, and you don't know them personally, we yeah. don't know them. I, I, they try. They tried to cover their tracks, and they did a, a, a better job than they normally do in covering the tracks. But I couldn't get over the premise of the show because, in reality, it wouldn't it wouldn't work um, in my mind for just random chefs from small towns not knowing who each other are, and then they reveal and they do. Um, overall, I like the movie. I, I agree. I thought the. the I think the uh, the leading the, the 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 couples didn't have the best of chemistry, but uh, I it wasn't jarring enough to where it was distracting. Um, yeah, it's it's an okay for brand, not as good as last week's, um, but we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep plugging away. Thank um, goodness, and 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 I, I I'm looking forward to it. But overall, thankful for how they've improved upon the reality show premise. Not quite there though. Yeah, gotcha. I have high hopes for the future. I do. I do. High high hopes, if you will. Um, this movie reminds me a lot of one of my favorite movies. Uh, it's a little film called Fiddler on the Roof. <laughs> guys, it's about this guy. He gets on the roof. He just plays the fiddle with, For hours. I believe Charlie Daniels is in it. It's a, <laughs> there's a devil in Georgia, if I'm not mistaken. He's the only fiddler in the band. Look, if you've not seen it, you won't get what I'm talking about. But it's a great <laughs> movie. And when you've got the acoustics on that roof, woof. Um, <clears throat> but the other thing about this movie that really should just 
epitomize the movie in general is that there's a full scene where they sign and discuss an NDA. There's a full scene. Why is that bad? It's boring. You would, yeah, sure. The, the movie, see, the problem is this, is Hallmark thinks the answer to not having answers for their TV shows is to give us the dry background of an NDA scene because without that scene, we ask questions the whole movie. Make a better game show. Like, I'm sorry, the game show is dumb. That NDA scene is, like, we're going, man, this is the most exposition we've ever heard in a scene before in Hallmark history and it'd be nice to give them credit for it, but the reason they have to do that scene is because the game show just it is way for thin holding together without it. And it's a bad premise with a bad game show and bad leads. It's it's terrible. It's my least favorite of the season. Um, look, Brendan Penny is a great guy. He begged us to come on the podcast. Yeah, we said no, he Brendan. wanted to come on the podcast. <laughs> he said, Deckers, come on. Let me on the show. I'm so good on podcast. And we said, Brendan, no time. Sorry, buddy. Maybe next time we'll catch you later. Yeah, we'll take a card. Sure, whatever. But... It just, it doesn't work out. It didn't work out across the board. He offered us his card? That's right. <laughs> He's a big, yeah, yeah, we saw him. He's a big business card guy. I don't know why that idea is funny to me, but it is. Um, can we all agree, though, that the, the, the show works if it's celebrities, right? <clears throat> yes. I don't think it does. You don't think I, it does? If you've ever, I don't, I'm not a huge reality show fan, nor cooking show fan, but I've watched some of these shows with my wife, like Chopped or Next Food Network Star. Cooking shows have to have elements that aren't cooking. Even Chopped, the, the show that is the mystery basket, and they took that element in. After each round, the contestants go to this back room, and they talk to each other. The judges have interaction. There's this interplay between the uh, contestants. Sometimes they like each other. Sometimes they really don't. That's what makes Chopped like. What if it's that? Well, Iron, what Chef, if, Iron Chef was almost Iron pure Sh- cooking. But I, no, Iron Chef has a consistent... Uh, Alton Brown is on both sides interviewing them and they're talking to each other. So like you have this, all the ingredients are known, they're all together at the same time. This takes out all of that. What if it's a, what if they're giving clues about who the celebrity is, kind of like a a mass singer, and if you guess it, if you're in there and you're cooking and you guess who that person is, you get some extra ingredients to help you I think if they're all cooking together and it's all celebrities and they have some way to, to mask voices and you have to sort of like try to guess your way through it and it becomes a gimmick that's a much better show no one and i mean aside from just food purists no one wants to watch an hour of just cooking no one does that doesn't even happen on like giada de Laurentiis's show like she stops and entertains guests like nobody wants to do that so it's just a bad show it, it doesn't work at all i think it could work i, I think, think there's yeah, something no, there that it, can work i mm-hmm. think the celebrity yeah. element would change if there's it. one thing that we've learned from the 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 mass singer is that we love trying to guess celebrities yeah yeah, yeah. yeah what yeah. if we didn't know who the celebrity was Ooh. it's 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 a we didn't know who the celebrity situation. was what what if we didn't know who the celebrity was yeah okay i got yeah. you what if yeah. we didn't know and they're it's all silhouette, cooking. but they're in there cooking and they're talking and it's in the And the, the, the face yes. is kind of scrambled. Yeah. Okay, that's a different show. I love the show. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 You, you uh, get, call hey, us, Fox. We, call us. That's an awkward five there. <laughs> I like it, though. Um, know, like, hey, <laughs> I'm holding my hand up. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, it's time for all the feels. It's part of the show we talk about what this movie gave us. Feels Panda. Okay, maybe it's because I listen. I, I need to clarify. I don't need a lot of macarons or macaroons. Every time you talk about them, like you eat a lot of. I them. know you talk about macaroons <laughs> all the time. If you see one, you mention it. I know. I love them. Uh, they're great. They're I've my never favorites. had a good one. I've never had a good I had macaron. My first macaron uh, a few weeks ago was not a fan. Yeah. Oh, I love them. Uh, not much I will try any type. Uh, and got really excited because yesterday I had one. Uh, first yeah, one of 2020. Yes. No, you said it was the best one you'd ever had, and it was when you just found sitting out. Yeah, That's what true. you told it, us. It, it and was, we asked you where out. it was from, and you said, I don't know. I don't know. I have out. no clue the bakery you it was know, from. But, but you don't eat a lot of macarons. <laughs> I don't How know did it end up in your house? It wasn't in my house. Where were I you? Was at, I was at church, and they had macarons oh, out. Okay. Oh, all right, okay. All right. Well, Sorry. So you knew in where my okay. scenario. You just walked in, sat on the couch, and on the coffee yes. table. Oh, yeah, this is a macaron. You just right. threw it yeah, in no, no, no. That, But I don't know <laughs> where it was. You were cleaning wrong. underneath the couch, and you found and it. Was, it, was oh. the best, it was the best macaroon I've ever had. It was had, like, a coffee flavor. So you can imagine my delight when yeah. I saw the amount of macaroons of all the different colors in this movie. It, every single time they popped on screen, it was like, oh, it's a macaroon. I, I love it. I do love a good macaroon. I don't think I love anything as much as you love macaroons. <laughs> Decker's out there. If you could take that scene of Panda saying, ooh, 
Oh, imagine it just get it on a, on loop. a loop. That would be oh, wonderful. Uh, one of those uh, YouTube 10 hour loops. That'd be great. Ooh, oh, macaroon. macaroon. <laughs> <laughs> um, so for me, it goes back to that that pupper. That pupper at the beginning with the little slippers on. Hey, oh, oh, come on. The, 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 when you see those little little doggy shoes, <laughs> you see those little doggy shoes, yeah. and you're like, oh my goodness. That's I tried cool. to put those on my dog one time, and they just think there's something on their feet. Yes, they just, yes. They just my go dog, up really hot. My dogs would not be No, 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 no. They'd no, be no. like, what are you doing? No, Why? No, get out of here. Yeah. Uh, my dogs have a hard enough time walking as yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah. And so you add the element of slippers, it's like, forget about it. <laughs> it's out of uh, control. But it was very cute, and I would have liked to see more of that dog. Yeah, it's a no for me on the feels. I don't, I just, not doing it for me. Not, Nothing, not, not a single thing. How about the cupcakes? No. no the cake? No, no, not the cake. None of it. I'm not a big baked goods guy. Not at all. I love a cheesecake. But they had cheesecake. They had a cheesecake scene. I didn't get to even see the cheesecake. In fact, I'm pretty sure they were just eating whipped cream shaped like a cake. Uh, I just, there was nothing there for me. Right. Sorry, you guys. You to see that. Mm. Um, we have a, a third segment here. It's called the oh, no, way. no Way segment, also formerly known as the Wait, Wait What. what? <laughs> um, and we would love for you, Panda, to kick us off with your Wait What. Uh, I have a few. Uh, first of all, uh, at one point they come to this tree that's been engraved with both of their names, Kelly and Andrew, on it. It's just mm-hmm. their initials. Uh, and I'm pretty sure Andrew says... It's still there, yeah, uh, yeah, which yeah. I don't know yeah. the shock and surprise about when you engrave your name. Like, it hasn't been that long of no, a time. Like, no, 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 no. It was, it's like, if you look at the engraving on the tree, it's like legit engraved. It's not like somebody pulled out their pocket knife. It's like they took like a straight like chainsaw to it and took their... You know how trees like yeah. shed? And then the bark just kind of comes back, back over, over all over every year, year, yeah, yeah. the year. Standard. Week. It doesn't. Yeah. yeah. That was uh, really bad. At the very beginning of the movie, there's a uh, elderly lady comes on in and orders a bunch of uh, macaroons. And there's this goofy Ooh, <laughs> macaroon, <laughs> salted caramel. I love it. Uh, anyway, uh, there's this goofy music playing the entire time as she's placing the order. And I, for the life of me, I can't figure out why there needed to be such goofy music because she's I like, don't remember the music at all. Oh, it was like either. do 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 do, and she's just like, I don't know, do I want the? Ma-? It didn't. It it wasn't goofy. Yeah. It was just somebody who didn't know what they really wanted to order. It was weird. Uh, can we talk about Diane, one of the contestants? Oh, oh in man. all caps in my Diane, just Diane, Diane got robbed. Yes. all caps Diane in got mine. Di- let's all let's let's, let's, let's paint let's paint the picture for yeah. the people out there that maybe yeah. didn't see it. Uh, it's the second round. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Frank mm-hmm. out first, of course. Duh, Frank, um, get out of here. And uh, they go through and they judge all the contestants. They say something negative about Kelly's. Mm-hmm. They say something negative about Andrews. Yep. Not a negative word is spoken. They of, love Diane. Diane. And let's good. point out that it was for children. This yeah. was meant to be. For, so she creates these cupcakes with dog faces on them with a cream cheese. Who doesn't love that? Ice. It was. And they were like, this is delicious. This is incredible. And what happens? Diane gets sent. Diane home. gets sent home. It's unbelievable. Diane, Diane robbed. is robbed. I don't yeah. like, listen, I'm the first one to sit there and say, all right, both of them need to get in at the end. Andrew and Kelly. Yeah, like, yeah, listen, yeah. we understand. Why that not that make stuff. Diane just bad? Bad. <laughs> but they make her legitimately the best of the three. And then they're like, see it, Diane. Doesn't make any no, sense to me. Yeah. It's rigged. A, it's Diane rigged. Was rigged. rigged. Uh, final thing here is. If there's two things I know. It's that Aaron Gordon should have won the dunk contest. And it's oh, that yeah. Diane should have won the competition. The four square. I, I think we all agree with that. Yeah. Uh, final thing is the at one point at the very end the very last um, show on the four squares competition uh, they said all right and we're going to have two people help you and so you're thinking oh it's somebody from their family <laughs> sure or a friend another Miranda. celebrity <laughs> fan yeah. they said it's the two producers come on out and if you're a contestant if you're watching this from home at what point are you <laughs> who the flip are they <laughs> who That's are right. these people yeah. it's a no, I, they're no. bringing someone new out they're bringing someone who is Ooh, that that's <laughs> just a uh, it's just a producer for the TV <laughs> show huh this is our producers it's mm. like what who can- i didn't understand no, it I still don't get sense. it uh yeah yeah um uh, here here the clock let's talk about the clock the <laughs> clock for reasons unknown to me just have hour and minutes and then and when then it they, gets to less than a minute it switches to seconds it gets to less than an hour it switches to minutes and minutes. seconds yeah yeah yes yeah so when it's like one minute 39 I seconds i don't remember ever seeing a minute with a yeah. second yeah because remember you thought it was a minute yeah, one time it threw me off yeah. yes it was very good all i'm saying just have the just hour three minute. numbers yeah. just, just, just have three. the three sections like i just it was hard um this okay 
So at the end, the chefs say that they cannot tell the difference between the two cakes, right? And so what they decide to do to decide who's winning is to let the host, who is not a chef at all, decide who has the better <laughs> cake. And not just that, why not then, if it, they taste the same, they still, they weren't decorated the same. Well, it should go to a, hey, overall, between the decorations, the taste is great, but you guys taste the same. So it's just purely based off decorations at that point, right? Yeah. And, and, and so why, why, did, why would they say it tastes the same so it was out of our hands? Wow. Why, how does it taste the same when the decorations are that different? I one mean, we're cake is noticeably different. One cake is white. The other cake has got all kinds of colors going on. There's flavors involved there. There's no way that those two cakes taste the same. There's no way. It, there's no way they do. It's there's the no dumbest way. thing in the world. It is dumb. Um, the, at the end, he, uh, he texts her and says, hey, I need to talk to you. So... <laughs> Great. Great. Yeah. I'll meet you at the tree. Yeah. He sends a picture yes. of the tree. This is she, what we want to meet. She shows up at the tree and they, he says, hey, I need to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> and they go inside. Then they go inside. Yes. He can't just be, meet me at my parents' house. <laughs> no. no, 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 no. Need to talk to you. Tree, need to talk to you. House. Hey, I need to talk to you. Hey, thanks for coming. I just, <laughs> still need to talk to you. Do you remember when I said I needed to talk to you earlier? It's so sa- same It's so freaking cold out here. No, it's going to I know. I felt like it was going to be romantic. It's just cold. It's just cold. It's just bad oh at this point. Uh, last but not least, he buys the, her parents' restaurant, which was very kind. I do need to remind everybody he did not win the competition, did not win the $100,000. That's right. And he says, hey, I bought you the restaurant. And, and she says... How'd you do that? And he said, well, it costs just about everything I have. And I just want, I, that just begs the question, how much money did yeah, you I, have for it not to be everything in, that you in have? In my What the Hallmark I had, I want to know who, who manages Andrew's money. Yes. Because phenomenal. he says beforehand he's going to need to win. He needs this money. That's the only way yes. he can break away and have a fresh start. No. He doesn't Evidently win the money. <laughs> And he still, still has enough to buy, to buy the, the restaurant. restaurant, and it not take everything that he has. So it's he didn't pretty need the much money at all. all. No, I, I just don't much. understand. Yeah, he's got old Dave Ramsey back there. Dave Ramsey. Dave he Ramsey's has in his envelopes corner. for days. Mm. Well, here's the thing: in the break away, do my own thing uh, envelope, <laughs> empty, empty. Yeah. But, but buy in a restaurant, buy a restaurant uh, from the, uh, the parents of the person that I love. That's right. Six figures. Six and figures. you always keep yeah, that yeah, six yeah. figures. That's rule number four. That is. That's because he's not giving by anybody to exactly. That's the key. Um, I have a bunch, but can we start with the reason for the surprise party at the beginning of this movie? It's a welcome back But party? he's he's just, yeah, he's, he's a not, guy. He's not moving back. So Andrew, he's not a soldier that's come home from war. <laughs> he's not a celebrity in his own right. This guy's just visiting home for four or five days. Right. And they have a full surprise party for him. I... <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Why? They're just good friends. So they. <laughs> what would you guys do if you I moved away and came back for four or five you, days? You're exhausted. You just got back from Paris, France. You yeah. want to see everybody, hang out with everybody. You walk in to get settled at your parents' house, and instead, it is just an onslaught of everyone in the town yelling surprise at you. You're in on that. Well. <laughs> Less so, but that's because I'm nature different. Yeah. Well, I just don't understand. There are a lot of reasons for a surprise party. This is not one of them. Like, they don't earn that surprise party at all. No. Um, so she runs, is it Lilia, Julia, Jill, Jillia? Who? Will, 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 what, what is will, will Yama? Will Yama? <laughs> Who are you asking about? The lead. Kelly. Kelly Yama. Yes, Kelly Yama. Kelly, Yama. Uh, Kelly runs a, uh, a pastry shop, and right by the old register... Uh, she's got all of her homemade goodies and homemade decorations and sour gummy worms. <laughs> so yeah. if you want the homemade macarons, you want some of the double, triple almond, double butter cake, and you want some of those gourmet sour brights, <laughs> she got you covered. There is like, you didn't get a good close up. So there is a chance that it is a, some sort of pastry that those are looks sour like gummy worms. From, yeah. Those are sour. This TV is 75 inches. Brandon is <laughs> sour get. gummy worms. That's what they are. Um, they get to New York. I am very confused about this whole producer situation. What TV show has enough money to hire a producer for each contestant that literally is their bro the whole time they're there? What do you want to go? Where do you want to go? You want to go eat? You want to go here? Hang out at the hotel, pick you up. Look, 
I know we're nobodies, but our producer, when we, we have a producer at Good Morning America, he meets us when we come in the door. Everything else has been pre-programmed for us. If we need something, call, but nothing else. Um, so they get there. Hey, Brad. <coughs> Bradley. Uh, they get there. Kelly, Juliana, her, her, her producer, Kelly's producer says, okay, we got a 530 call time. All right. So at 430, she calls and wakes her up. Wake up call for no reason and goes, I'm going to be there in a half hour. Get, get ready. No. I don't That's understand. That's not okay. I just don't understand. I, it doesn't make any sense. Um, later, she Kelly runs into Andrew, and they both have their producers there. And it's weird because they both have to lie because they've signed this no NDA, non-disclosure agreement. And so they do this weird lie like, oh, she's working on the restaurant with me. This is my friend, blah, blah, blah. And so you ever been in that situation where you, you're, you're not supposed to see somebody and you saw them and you're just in this weird, awkward, don't give them too much information, try to get on with your day? Both of these characters are in that situation. And what they decide to do to maintain their lie and their secret NDA is go to lunch together. <laughs> Why don't all four of us go to lunch? It'll be a hoot. We're and both trying to lie. For it. I just don't understand. Uh, that doesn't make any sense at all to me. Don't get it. Um, he says he's going to take her to the best hot dog in the city. It's a Sabret hot dog stand. Look, if you've ever been to New York... There are a hundred hot dog stands that all sell some bread hot dogs. They're sitting in the same boiling water. Like, it's not, that can't be the best hot dog in the city. I think my favorite, though, is the female judge. All three judges on this show are terrible, but the female judge, she's tasting Diane's dessert, and she says this line, I can taste the cream cheese. (laughs) You're a professional chef. Sure hope so. What you can do is taste the thing that all of us can taste. (laughs) You can, in fact, taste the cream cheese. Congratulations for that. Um, Guys, can I just butt in really fast? Sure. I just got this crazy, like, breaking news what is from it? our Patreon community who's watching this live. This yeah, yeah, yeah. Patreon.com. Patreon.com. Patreon. 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 Um, macaroons and macarons. Macarons. Different cookies. What? Yeah. Macaroons are generally coconut based. Yeah. While macarons. Macaron are, of the sandwich. Are uh, meringue? Meringue. Meringue based? Yeah. That makes sense to Thank me. Thank you, Melinda. So I, you've been calling those cookies macaroons. They're macarons. I had no you idea. You love a macaron, is what you love. So I love a macaron. You love a macaron. What's yeah. a macaron? Most of the macaroon. I guess it's coconut. Macaroons are those little uh, coconut. I things. have. Yeah, I have had the macaron. Those. Okay. Do they look the same? No, though? They, they don't. Do not. Wow. Wow. No. Look. Lord. Look up a macaroon. I'll do that now. No, I like a macaron. I'll, I'll I like look. a macaron. You like a macaron? Now you know. Uh, I also like the macarena. Macarena. Uh, uh, macaroni and cheese. And cheese. And little macarena. Mac from Punch Out. Big Macs. Love anything with the Mac. We're crushing it right now. The Mac? Mac attack. Return of the Mac? Return of the Mac. Do you Uh, have any more? I do. They said a cake has to be at least 24 inches tall. And uh, Brendan Penny's response on camera is to do this. And if you're watching, he goes. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know what he's doing there, but it's a riot. And then after she wins, her producer goes, we've got to go meet the press to talk through what just happened. It's not live. They've not aired it yet. There would be no press. No one knows. That's the purpose of the non-disclosure agreement is no one knows what happened. She can't possibly be talking to the press. Why did they have her go meet press? It doesn't make any sense. The only thing I can think of is that this show is so big that they had press there to watch it be taped. And the press knows who the contestants they are, know. even though no one does. Yeah, They watch the, the finals and then right afterwards, they do the interviews, and those get released right as the show gets done. There's no it's way a press you could. Blitz. There's no. It's a press blitz. There's no way you could hide all of that info if all of the press got access to it. It would be leaked for sure. It Nobody def- does it would that. Definitely be leaked. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's time for what the homework is. The part of the show I don't know if you've heard where we wonder what could have been, what would maybe happen. Give some clarity yeah, to the questions absolutely. that we still have. What? Panda, I know you still have some questions. What are some of those? I have. I have two burning questions. Two really uh, like on fire questions. Can't even hold them. Uh, barely. So it's just it's scalding. <laughs> uh, the first one is on the menu at uh, Kelly's parents' restaurant. It has a lot of weird items, but one of the yeah. ones that stood out to me as we live in the South, it says featured sweet tea. 
and I don't I don't know if that means that they have multiple different types of sweet tea. <laughs> right. If it's like the sweet tea of the week kind of thing, like I just I want to know more. Yeah. About sweet tea of the week. I it's in North that. Carolina. Maybe yeah. they just have a different Maybe. flavored sweet tea. That I would love be weird, that idea. Uh, also, at one point, one of the producers gets a phone call and says, "My husband is having a meltdown over the wrong chandelier being <laughs> delivered." I want to know what his his like condition is yeah. at the moment. Like, it, how's I, he doing? I was under the interpretation that that was a bit because to she's get, talking to Kelly to get out of the restaurant. He said she, uh, Brendan Penny's character says that she works with him in the restaurant and her husband is in the restaurant. She's doing a bit. She's she's been oh my husband got the wrong except chandelier. the phone really did go off. Yeah, I'm, who knows? I mean, she's probably had somebody call in to get her out of there. But maybe it's not a bit, and maybe the chandelier really is yeah. a mess. Yeah, is it or is it not? That's a good well, one. That's yeah. just, I, yeah. I just want clarity on that, because if, if he's having a meltdown over the chandelier, like, what was what's the, the issue the that chandelier? made it so... Well, and what's his issue as well? Yeah. Like, what well, what became so pressing sure. about the chandelier yeah. sitch where you have a meltdown? I yeah. just want to know. Um, I got a question for the uh, location scout of Hallmark. <laughs> and how they keep finding these hotels with pianos in the rooms. And where can I get one of those hotels? This is at least the, uh, I can think of Christmas at Graceland, and there has to be more of these. these the where old they, full piano in the full room, in case you, in the mood strikes yeah. you. Is that just something that they put together, or did they find that in their location scouting? I'm very interested. Um, the, the carving on the tree is so... Um, it's absurd. It is intricate. Is uh, I think a word that I, it, it looks like they carved around it, right? But they left it, and then they sanded down the heart, yeah. <laughs> and then carved into it. It is very intense, very intricate, and I just want to know how much time it took because most kids are just like, no, hey. no, no, it's a quick, it's a quick boy. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they they carved went around it. They that was sanded a full it year. Down. Yes, that was a full year. <laughs> they, was they let it. They let what it, he sit. Did. it was his home ec project. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, I do want to know. I'd love a Ronaldo Messier movie. Yeah. Um, yeah. I feel like Ronaldo Messier apparently is a big guy. He's supposed to come to the restaurant that uh, uh, Brendan Penny's character works at. And, like, he, I mean, I don't know. It feel like they just combined a bunch of soccer names together to get Ronaldo Messier. I'd love a full movie. And then, lastly, I want to know in the writer's room at Hallmark or whoever wrote this, if you're listening, like, how, what was the point at which you thought you could have them continue the two leads run into each other without them realizing that they were both on the game show. Because I think we passed that point 12 meetings ago. Like, I don't know how they don't un- know that they're both on the game show. Like by the 10th time they meet each other in New York, they have to be like, wait a minute, I'm here and I can't tell anybody why he's here and he can't tell anybody why. Well, We're she, on the game she show. She thinks that he's there because of the chef. That's right. Which I believe he told her about back in the town. So when he's there in New York, not a big surprise. But it's, for sure him, I would start to feel a little... Scared. Yeah, at some point. At it some just, point. It I, just seemed like there was just two... And I know you have to have scenes with them together. It's yeah, a Hallmark movie. It just was a... It was a tough sell. How many times? How many, many times? How many times is too many? Yeah. I don't know if we're there or not. I'm not mm. sure. I, I do know we, that we did it. We did do we it did indeed. Do it. Um, which brings us to uh, our favorite segment of the show. It is the patron of the week. Patron of the week. It's my patron. It's your, your patron. patron. Oh, Ooh, you, nice. you came on board. Uh, Welcome. Not yeah, not all aboard. Uh, just half aboard here. Um, and I believe, uh, Pena, we were uh, chatting back and forth. Yeah. We were doing our, our annual uh, Sunday night GIF talk. Where yeah. We only talk. And GIFs. GIFs. Yeah, it and was one weird. of the gifs you you sent me managed to say this week's patron of the week is the best ever, which yep. was amazing. How yeah. you did that? Um, we'll we'll disclose those secrets later. But I'm excited. I I wanted to hear it straight from the bird's mouth um, as the bird is telling it to me. And in this case, you're the bird, and I am listening. <laughs> yeah. And so, bird, uh, I want to hear the story. But first, Dan, who do we have? Angie Oliverson and Anna Vanessa. Angie and Anna. Angie and Anna. Angie Oliverson, Anna Vanessa. I can, I can already tell this is going to be a, gonna be a good yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. No, Angie and Anna, uh, long, long time friends. Uh, first, first time, time callers. callers. Okay. Uh, uh, and uh, one thing about Angie and Anna is they have a friendship that lasts the test of time. Uh, in high school, uh, best friends. They used to go to the movies every Sunday together. Wow. Yeah. And it well, was really, it was really nice. special. Yeah. It was a really special time. Uh, then they went off to college, different colleges, but then guess what? Uh, 
they they got back together after graduation and they said, you know what? What if we started a company together? Okay. You know what's interesting is you could have just ended the story. They didn't necessarily have to go into business, but they did, and that's they like, did, and that's yeah. what's so special yes. about it. I was like, oh, this is going to be one of those ones that where they don't. There, go there's business. no business. No, there is, a, there business. is a business. No, there's a always business. a business. There's always a business. There's always Everyone, a business. You hear that out there, guys? If you want to join our Patreon, yes. it's always a business. Oh, they, they just went in together. They uh, franchised out a Burger King. That's it. They franchised out a Burger King. Right. So they were in a Burger King and franchising out. Yeah, they have a. So they bought a Burger King franchise. Yeah. So okay. they just they run a Burger King. Is it yeah. Burger King like we think of Burger King? Like oh. Whopper? Yeah, pretty standard. Okay. There's like they got but the their em- friendships what stands the test of time. Has anything they ever fr- anything exciting <laughs> or like weird or unique ever happened in their Burger King? Uh well, yeah, one time Lisa, who was at the time just a part time employee, flushed her cell phone down the toilet. Oh. It was a mess. It blocked up the plumbing. They had to get a plumber out. It was just a wreck. Yeah. It sounds like it. It sounds yeah, it was, brutal. It was really bad. Yeah. Shut down the Burger King for a day. Wow. Man. They also ran out of burgers one time. <laughs> they ran out of burgers. What were they the time? king of at that point? At that point, they were just basically serving the chicken tendies. Just chicken tendy king. Yeah. Did and they, they change their name? Tendy king. No, not no. That would be ridiculous. You yeah. can't do that with a franchise. Not for one day. I mean, why don't you take this a little bit serious? Huh? I'm so sorry. Angie, uh, Anna, thank you so much for donating. Good luck with the king. Hey, good and luck. Uh, thank you for being f- strong friends. We all, uh, we look up to that. Our friendship's been a little rocky lately. Yeah, but uh, theirs is a good model. Yeah, and we've been looking at and paying, been taking notes. Taking notes. Angie and Anna. If Beautiful. they can if they can survive the, the influenza scare of, th- of 2019. 2020? No, then, 2019. That's when it really hit. In that's Burger, really hit. The Burger King. Okay. It was the cow flu. All right, guys, we did it. Uh, That's why they were out burgers. We'll be back on Thursday with another amazing, fantastic interview. But until then, may we be the first to wish you a Merry Merry Christmas. Christmas. Deck the Hallmark is a Bramble Jam podcast presented by Friendly TV. It's produced by Brandon Gray and recorded live in beautiful Greenville, South Carolina at the flagship property studios on East Coffee Street. For more information, go to deckthehallmark.com.